Okay, hello class. Today we're going to talk about getting in and out of irons. Okay, is everyone ready? So basically this is the stop and go motion of sailing. So the point of irons, can anyone point this out to me? I can. Okay, you can draw it on the board. That's an iron right there. Good job. It's okay. in iron. Correct term. That's in iron. Thank you. Thank you, Sitan. Um, so the point of sail where the tip <clears throat> of the boat is facing into the wind is called irons. Okay? Okay. And yesterday, Emily, when we were sailing, I saw that you got second to irons. Yes. Right? So can you tell me a bit about that? Maybe explain to Tommy, who's never been stuck in irons before, what happened um, Well, when I was stuck in irons, my sail was just waving. It was... Do you, want, do you want to draw that on the board for us? Um, sure. Uh, on the irons boat? Oh, yeah. On the, Maybe, yeah, yeah. Here, let's draw you a bigger boat. Yeah, bigger irons. So the sail was kind of like waving, like so. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and so that is why we call irons the no-zone area, no-go zone area. So basically, irons is the point of sail where you're not moving. Does anyone know why you're not moving? Anybody? Or do you want me to explain? Do you think you do, or do you want me to explain? I think I want you to explain, actually. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, so, the reason <laughs> you don't move is because your sail is facing the wind. So, it's luffing back and forth because the wind doesn't have a direct side that it can face and go on and catch, and your sail can't catch the wind, okay? So therefore, your, wind, your sail is going to be moving back and forth like crazy, but don't be alarmed because you won't be moving. So if you're ever scared, if you ever want to stop, if there's an issue in your boat, if you ever want to pull up beside the crash boat beside me and talk to me, you're always going to go into irons, okay? Even though your sail will be going crazy, you'll still be standing still? You can just, you can try and hold it. It's easy. As long as you keep your head down, that's a very big safety thing. Um, okay. So next we're going to stop talk about the stop motion, okay? And it's one of the most commonly used techniques for stopping is just turning your boat directly into irons, okay? And um, stops the boat, the sail will be luffing, so there's no wind to catch, like I said before. And so to get to this position, you're going to push the tiller. Everyone knows the tiller? Oh, yeah. The tiller. Yeah. Um, you're going to push the tiller um, away from where the wind is coming from. So, Tommy, right now, let's say that the wind is coming from me, okay? And you are trying to turn it into irons. You're on a B point of sail, and you're trying to turn to irons, so you push your tiller away from the wind. <laughs> Which way would you push the tiller? You don't answer? That's okay. That's okay. You're going to push it away from where I'm standing. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Tell me, it's okay if you don't know the answer. It's good. You're going to get there. It's okay. Is you okay? You're fine. You'll get there. She, she'll <laughs> teach us how to get in and out of irons. Okay. okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So, anyone been in a situation where they need to get into irons faster? No. Anyone? No. Okay. Well, when I was your age, I was sailing along, and there was a buoy right in front of me. And I needed to turn away. But I was very afraid, because I was a young sailor, and I needed to turn into irons. So I pushed the tiller away from me, but I needed to stop faster because I was so afraid. So I pushed the boom out, and it stopped me right there as I turned into irons. So this is a very effective way to stop the boat. A little bit more difficult, but you will get there. Maybe if we do some on-water practice, maybe with an instructor in the boat, you should definitely get some practice. Okay, you're just going to push the boom once you're into the wind, and it should stop because it will catch so much wind and kind of push you back. But it'll be good. Okay, and then another big thing to remember is, hint, hint, this may be on our problem solving part of this lesson later but remember that when you're tacking never push keep pushing the tiller 
out once you're in irons because it'll cause you to tack over the irons. So if you were in this position and you wanted to get into the irons position and you kept pushing your tiller away from the wind, you'd be like, turn, 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 past the irons, and you'd get into the other way of the beat again. So you'd be on a port beat instead of a starboard beat when you really wanted to get into the irons. Okay? And so this kind of thing will make you go into, you want to go into a stop, but it will make you go into a go. So it will be the opposite of what you want. Okay. So now we're going to talk about go, which is the fast part of sailing, or getting out of irons. So I'm sure it's happened to you already. Tommy, you've only sailed once, I believe. Twice. Emily, you've been here for two weeks. So have you gotten stuck in irons yet? Yes. Yes, yes you yes, have. I have. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's one of the biggest problems for young sailors, but it happens a lot, so you just need to stay calm. If it happens, don't worry, it happens to everybody. And so, um, if you do get stuck, we're going to talk about some ways to get out of irons. Then we're going to go on to the problem solving section. We'll be very, we'll all work together to solve them, so it'll be good. Okay, so when you get stuck in irons, what do you think you're going to be feeling if it's a very windy day. Really scared. Uh, really scared, yeah. And the sail will be really nothing. No, if you, well, if you're in irons, I'm sure it would be. It'd be sad. But what if you're trying to get into irons and, and or yeah. sorry, totally messed up. Okay, you're stuck in irons. Sorry, mm -hmm. my bad. Um, so let's say it's a really windy day and it's a lot of waves. What do you think the waves are going to be doing to your boat? Crashing onto the boat. Yeah. yeah. And do you think your boat's going to be filling up with water? Yes. Yeah. That's yes. Absolutely. And it's although it's uncommon <laughs> for the area that we're sitting at, we do have some very windy days. And so you guys need to be ready for that. But we're also going to prepare you for the more common weather that we have and also weather that's more light wind. So um, if it is a very windy day, and you have any water in the boat, that may be the reason that you're stuck in irons. So what you're going to try and do is you're going to try and bail out the water. All of our boats come with bailers. So we practice bailing, you know, just scooping it out. Um, and then you're going to hang on to your tiller. Always make sure you have your hand on the tiller. Never let go of it. Because Tommy, on our first day yesterday, you tried skippering. And you let go of the tiller, and that caused your boat to tip. And it's very scary for him. So, but we'll, we'll get into the dump test later. But, um, so, so you're going to completely let go of the main sheet, okay? And that may cause the boat to turn. It may not. So if not, you can, another technique is to try and put the side, all your body weight on one side. Because you know how that tends to tip the boat over? Well, it can also turn your boat. Although putting too much weight can tip it, which isn't good. Okay, so um, then once you tip it over a bit, you're going to pull in the main sheet and get on whatever point of sail you want to go on, whether it's a beat or whether you want to keep turning, maybe go all the way down to the run. Depends on where you're trying to get to. Okay? So now we're going to go into our problem solving situations. Okay? And then afterwards, we'll talk about some ways to avoid getting in times, okay? So, situation one. So, for these situations, I'm going to be the student, and you're going to be the teacher, okay? So, you guys get to take the big kid role and teach me. Okay. So, situation one. So, I am stuck in irons in very light wind, and I can't seem to get out. What do you think that I should do? Oh, um... Yeah, Emily? You should put your weight on the turning side of the boat. Yeah! So that's... you can turn your boat. Okay. Because it's light wind. That's good. Okay, do you want... If this is the boat here... Yes. The wind is coming from here. And you're trying to turn this way. Which side of the boat do you put your weight on? The turning side. The turning side. So, so which side is that? This side. Yeah, good. Wow. And that's the port. Yeah, good job. Okay, so situation two. So I am stuck in irons 
on a very windy day. Okay? So, how do you think that I should get out of irons? Yes. You turn between the waves. Good job! <sighs> yes! That's a good... Some other ways, too, is to make sure the sheets aren't pulled in too much or to make sure that the sail isn't let out too much because that can be an issue with getting in and out of irons. And another way is to make sure that to stop yourself from getting into the irons very well today is to make sure you're keeping up a lot of speed, you know, pulling in your sail on a bead, keeping it in and out in the proper points of sail. Okay. Um, so another situation, okay, Emily, again, you got into this situation, I think, last I week, although I don't know if we ever went over it, did we? So we can go over it th t today, okay, perfect. So, um, I am sailing, this is like the situation that I said before, remember the one with the buoy? Okay, so I'm on sailing, and there's a very large hazardous, um, rock right in front of me. Well, in the near distance. And I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I'm nervous. And I just want to stop. And so I can help wave down my teacher and maybe they can pull me away from that situation. Because obviously I am sailing too far away. What do you think I should do? Yes? Pull the boom in. Pull the boom in? Okay, you are so close, Tommy. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push <laughs> the boom out. Oh, it's okay. Oh, Tommy, push, don't worry, you're so close. Push the boom out to... When you're going to turn up into irons and push the boom out. Okay, so that's to stop. To stop the Because you're going close to the rocks. And okay, yeah. Um, so this is in the last situation, situation four. So what is happening to me... Just a clap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, so... I am sailing along. This is like, we went over this. This is the thing I hint, hint at. Okay. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. So I am sailing on a starboard beat tack. And all of a sudden, I get out of control. I'm sailing way too fast. And I want to stop. Okay? So I'm going to turn up into irons. But I keep pushing the tiller out because I don't know when to stop. I'm a new sailor. So I keep pushing it, and all of a sudden, I'm going, keep going past and past and past until I'm just going in circles, and I let go of the tiller because I'm so afraid, and someone gets hit in the head. I don't know what to do. It's just a disaster. Okay? What do you think that I should do? Um, stop pushing the tiller on irons. Perfect. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to need to do. So once you get into irons and you know that you want to stop, you're going to pull the tiller back to your side, but never letting go. Okay? Okay. So now we're going to talk about ways that you can avoid irons, which is keeping the boat dry. Um, water inside of the boat can cause the weight. Let's say you're trying to turn this way, but all the water is on this way and sometimes it can make you keep turning as you move over, and it can just cause those issues. So trying to keep your auto bailer on, making sure that your boat is bailed out before we leave. You can always ask me to help you if the water is too heavy for you. And it's just little things like that that you just gotta, if your boat is filled with water, don't be afraid to flag me down, okay? I'm always gonna be in the crash boat, so yeah. And the second way to make sure is make sure that your rudder is fully down. You know the term beaver tailing? When your rudder is out of... So you're going to make sure that the rudder is all the way down, and you can do that by pulling um, the rope that goes from the rudder through the cleat on the tiller. Right? I showed you that yesterday, oh, yeah. Tommy, on your first day. Okay, and then um, <laughs> what happens a lot is where we sail, it's a very swampy, seaweedy area. So, when there's seaweed on the rudder, it can get stuck in this where the centerpiece goes, and therefore, the rudder can have difficulty going down, especially in the bigger boats. So, you always want to make sure that your centerpiece is all the way down, 
so that way there's no drifting, which is the purpose for the centerpiece. And okay, and okay, then we're gonna make sure that we're when we're on a beat, we're keeping up our speed. If we want to stop or slow down, we're gonna turn into irons, okay? So then next you're gonna ensure that your boat is always going fast, like I just said, and you're gonna try and sit further back in the boat, except when you're on a down. But always make sure you're in the back. I know in the Pico, some of you like to sit in the front, but that's me. Oh, I, that's my favorite part. I well, I know how to do that. He doesn't. Good job. He doesn't do it. Okay. Yeah. So does everyone think they understand stop and go and feel more comfortable about that? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes me. Perfect. <laughs>